Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino, and you know what? That didn't suck. Today did not suck, at least from a market standpoint and for me with my current trade. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, as usual. So, yeah, this is my post-market wrap-up on this freaking lovely freak show, Tuesday, December 15, 2020. Before I talk about the freak show, uh, let's, let's focus on these markets here. A rip-roaring rally on Wall Street. The Russell 2000 just hit a new record high. The other major stock market indices are also going to hit new record highs very soon again. We're right there anyway. Uh, what would you expect in this environment of ever-expanding, exploding debt like we've never seen before? And it's about to get much worse talking about the freak show. Uh, again, let's put the freak show on the back burner for a second. Gold and silver did very well today. Uh, cryptocurrencies did well. Bitcoin over 19,500 and going much higher. 10-year yield 0 0.91. Crude oil continues to rise, people. It seems like crude oil is unstoppable. Why? Because the dollar is cratering. The dollar, again, lost value. Uh, the Dixie Index, go have a look at this uh, for yourself on my website, traderschoice.net, top of the second page. Everything there for you in real time. Hope you take advantage of that. Okay, so that's pretty much the scenario here. Stocks took off. Why? Well, maybe it's the freak show. This is what we found out. This is what we found out from the freak show. The freak show Congress is apparently getting closer to a great deal, and it's going to be tremendous. Yeah, they're stealing some of the wording from... Uh, another character here in politics. I think you know who he is. Uh, but that's really the words that they're using. Cr tremendous and great deal for the American people. And that really did push this market higher. Uh, they're getting closer. Maybe this week. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know, maybe never. You decide. It's up to you. But it is... <laughs> it's just laughable. It's a freak show. It's a freak show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, freak show, just like that. I could get freakier. I think you all know that, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> yeah, there is something wrong with me. Okay, let us, let you and me, let's just shift gears a little bit. We got, we got two warnings today from two major banks here on Wall Street. Number one, well, I don't know which one is, I'm not putting this in any order of, of urgency, but let's just say number one, Bank of America. Bank of America is warning on the stock market. They believe, Bank of America believes, that the stock market is about to fall. And it could fall significantly. Okay, I guess we'll see how that works out. Because all I know and all I do, for you lions out here that, that follow my work, I generally tell you, you should do the opposite of of what a major bank is telling you to do. So I'm gonna be honest with you. When I heard this from Bank of America today, I said, oh, okay, time to get even more bullish, if that's even possible. I mean, th this market is frankly uh, stupid. It's done nothing but go straight up in the face of an economic collapse. Now let's talk about more of about an economic collapse. Goldman Sachs, blah, blah, blah. Goldman Sachs. They said 90%, 90 percent of the U.S. remaining small businesses, pay attention to this, we already lost about 60% of the small businesses that had existed here in our country prior to the charade known as the coronavirus. Okay, uh, so 60% are gone. Now, Goldman Sachs is saying 90% of those remaining may close. They're in, at risk of closing down. Think about what we're talking about here. If Goldman Sachs is even half right, half right on this, and just 45% of the remaining businesses close here in the United States, you want to talk about an accelerated free fall? It's not going to stop. I've been warning all of you over and over and over again. The stock market is going to go up, 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 up. Cryptocurrencies, up, 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 up. I've been telling you 
for how long? Okay, that's exactly what has happened. I've been warning you again. Free fall economy is going to get worse. Now you have a mega bank telling you 90% of the remaining small businesses are at risk of closing. Beautiful. You, see, you do see what's going on here, don't you? This is their plan. This has been the, the plan of the current government, okay? Uh, their merger with these corporate entities to erase any competition. U.S. small businesses must go. Uh, that's a fact. They want you gone. If you have a small business, you are just about done. Probably going to be totally done. Again, competition with the corporate entities will not be tolerated in this new system, this new paradigm, this new America, this new world order will not be tolerated. So again, they are well on the way to achieving their end goal gameplay. Uh, destroy U.S. small businesses. They cannot compete. They do not want, the corporations do not want anyone to compete with them. They want to own it all. They want, they want it all. Period. The end. They're being driven by, uh, again, the current administration and by the central banks who are taking over the entire world incrementally. Uh, more debt on an epic scale. Now, that's really what boosted the markets today. The promise that Congress may get something done, they're closer to a tremendous great deal. It's tremendous. It's freaking great. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have it yet. You see how it works? Doesn't this sound exactly like the freak show China trade deal? It's tremendous and great. Oh, no. Not today. Tomorrow it'll be tremendous and great. Guess what? We're renegotiating it. It's going to go freaking beautifully. That didn't work out so well now, did it? Neither did ending the Fed. How did that work out for you? Hmm. I don't think it did. Let's see. Who's been telling you that would never happen since, you know, it came up several years ago? That would be me. Thumbs up for Manorino. And uh, you lose. Those of you that kept telling me that I was wrong. I could laugh my ass off at some of the stuff I've been told about <laughs> that I've been wrong. And, uh, you know, I won't do that. You know why? Because I like to think I'm a better person, but I guess not. Anyway, all right, look. So that's pretty much it. That's the summary here. Nice rally on Wall Street on, on the promise of Congress. Uh, they're getting closer to, to a tremendous, fantastic deal. It's going to be the greatest deal in the history of the world. We've heard that for the past few years, things that never happened. I think we know, we know what we're talking about here. All right, uh, but again, let's just keep our eyes on the ball here. Watch the cratering dollar. Watch what happens to gold, silver. Cryptocurrency is pretty easy. The 10-year yield, uh, it's, it's, all, it's all just right there for us to look at, laugh at. Uh, and, and weaponize against them. Again, this, this, this blog here is about flipping it around, taking this entire twisted system and beating them over the head with it. Okay, while well, we laugh our way uh, around it. That's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we've been doing. And we will continue to do that in, in, until whenever. Um, we're in the middle of a meltdown. The middle of this isn't even the end stage of the meltdown. This is the middle, maybe. And actually, you know what? This is the early stages of the meltdown. How's that? We are in the early stages of a meltdown that hasn't even really begun yet. Because when this debt bubble bursts, forget about it. Forget about the carnage that this is going to leave in its wake. We're talking about a death toll which will eclipse that of the, of the global coronavirus by exponents. That's what's going to happen here when the debt bubble bursts and there's pandemonium in the streets. Uh, again, a whole new set of rules are coming, people, and I really, really hope you're starting to understand it and, and look at this from the right perspective. And for those of you that have had their hope in the wrong spot for the last four years, I really do feel sorry for you. Um, and you got to start getting with the program and understanding that you've all been duped on an epic scale by design. You think any of this was uh, all of that, that whole thing, the whole propaganda cue and everything else, you think that was all put out there just by accident? No, it was to mind twist you into doing nothing, believing that another entity 
was going to help you. How did that work out? I guess not so well. All right, I'm out of here. This guy here loves you a lot. Please share the video. See you later.